You can see those ribs or ridges right there. It's got a flat bottom. Take it out the side. Slide it up the shank. Oh my gosh. These things. Oh. Oh man. Bass? Uh, about a pound. I'll let him go. What's up guys, back to you again with another video, uh, this time it's going to be on my rods and reels, um, got three of them, so let's start off with my uh, spinning combo, right here, you have a Bass Pro Shops Carbon Black Johnny Morris rod with a Shimano Sedona, I believe it's 2500, uh, FD, which stands for front drag. Right here, I'm getting up close on the reel. Real, really nice reel. Really sleek, really smooth. I, it, it's uh, five ball bearings. Well, just five bearings. And its line capacity is, uh, for what I use, I use eight pound test. It holds 140 yards of eight pound test, which is perfect for me. Really like it. It's a great finesse spinning rod. Has a nice soft tip. I'll show you. Nice soft tip. Really flexible. You could really fling some lures out there really nicely. Um, extremely sensitive. I was fishing a tube and I could literally feel the bluegill like 30 feet out with monofilament. I could feel the bluegill nipping at the tentacles on the tube. So it's extremely sensitive. It's uh, aluminum oxide guides. Extremely smooth guides so smooth it's not it's it's amazing um right here you have a little hook keeper right there and uh, it's a split grip handle cork uh if it was foam i'd be a little happier because cork tends to wear after a little while but uh yeah this was a 120 dollar rod and um really if you're gonna buy a rod from bass pro shops i recommend Either attorney special, because attorney special is only fifty bucks, and it's really high quality for only fifty bucks. And it, they're really good uh, backup rods. They're extremely durable. They're so strong, and you know they're just really reliable for fifty fifty dollar rods. So uh, other than that, I recommend getting uh, rods from Bass Pro Shops that are over a uh, hundred dollars, because. I don't really think anything else is that great. I have a bionic blade, it's okay, but I like all the carbon blacks, all the carbons and all the carbon lights and anything Johnny Morris is good. Anything Johnny Morris is really good actually. Uh yeah. That's this combo. This is just for uh jigs and worms. Uh right here. This is the second combo I got. This is a Bass Pro Shops Tourney Special Rod, as you can see right there. It's six foot six. Oh yeah, forgot to mention. This rod, it's a six foot six medium. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm just gonna say it again. Oh yeah, by the way, it's 85 million modulus. I believe it's IM9, which is, as you know, extremely sensitive and strong. Uh, but yeah, right here, Tourney Special uh, Trigger Rod with a Bass Pro Shops. 7.1 to 1 gear ratio pro qualifier um pro qualifier is an amazing reel from bass pro shops i believe it's made by abu garcia i think abu garcia makes all of the rods and reels for bass pro shops and as you might know abu garcia is a really great high quality company um so yeah six foot six medium heavy i use this for throwing any heavier things such as Spinner baits, um, crank baits. It works really well for crank baits. Uh, you know, anything that needs to move fast, because 7.1 to 1 gear ratio. Um, the tip is not as soft, which is okay, because it's going to be throwing heavier, heavier uh, lures. And this is just intended for like top water. Well, for top water, you want a soft tip. That's probably what I'm going to be getting next. I'm going to be getting a bay casting combo for 
worms, jigs, and top water. I'm going to see if I can find one with a really soft tip so it'll be good for top water and also we'll be able to cast light jigs and worms really well. Um, so yeah, really great combo. Six with six. It's I am seven, graphite. Um, and more about the reel. 7.1 to 1 gear ratio, I already said. Uh, I think it's seven bearings. Has a dual braking system right there. I believe I already did a uh, review on this reel, so I'm not going to be going that too in depth with it. $100 reel, about a $50 rod, $150 combo, and I handled the fish no problem the other day with this. I was actually really happy with how this performed. So I really recommend this as a combo. And here is a combo that I got for my birthday. I got this for $160. No. Yeah, $160. Um, Bionic Blade. 6'6 uh, six six Heavy. This is my flipping and pitching rod. I know that everyone says for flipping and pitching you should get anywhere from 7 to even 8 feet, but I don't know. I, I have to fit this on a car. I don't really have a boat. So I have to fit this on a car. 7 foot 6 or anything past 7 would not fit in a car, to be honest with you. Plus I just, I have fish ponds and I like to be really uh, compact when I'm uh, fishing. I like to stay in a small area and have compact fishing gear take up as less as a uh, little space as possible so six foot six heavy uh again bass pro shops pro qualifier reel love this reel this is a really great reel um again this is 6.4 to one gear ratio and it's spooled up with uh 40 pound power pro this is going to be my frog flipping and pitching rod um it's 50 million modulus i believe I think it's I am eight, I am eight graphite, which is still really good. I got this rod for sixty bucks. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, what it is all the time, but the reel was on sale for eighty. No, the rod was eighty, and the reel was on sale for eighty. So I got it all together for one hundred and sixty bucks. It's act, it's a it's a good rod. It's a bit heavy. Uh, hook keeper right there, by the way. Uh, it's a bit heavy. Um, a little heavier than I would like it to be, but it's okay because I got this. It's just a rod balancing thing. You, if there's lead weights in the bottom, and you put as much in it as you want, and it balances out the rod. So it's it's literally balanced right at the reel, right there. So for flipping and pitching, it actually feels pretty light. Uh, the tip, again... Not that soft, but, I mean, it's for flipping and pitching. You don't really want a soft tip. You want to be able to really pull the bass out of the cupboard. Um, yeah, so I th I think I'm going to start stepping it up with my rod and reel combos from now on. Everything else I buy is going to be higher quality, like carrot sticks, ducats, but I'm only going to be able to get those on my birthday, unless I get a job. But, uh, yeah, I'm planning to get my next combo as a worm and jig rod, plus top water. Um, so, yeah, that's my review on all my rods. Well, it's not really a review. Well, yeah, it's kind of a, re kind of a review. Um, really good combos. They're cheap and affordable, and they perform really well. Um, I'm mostly happy with my spinning combo, to be quite honest with you. It's extremely sensitive, and for a $60 reel, Shimano really outdid themselves, because the Shimano Sedona really is a great reel. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope this video wasn't too long, and for those of you who stuck it out, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you could rate, comment, and subscribe, that would be amazing. You don't even have to rate and comment, just please subscribe. Um... Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and have a nice day.